it's T. It is Saturday night. I haven't done any recording today, but we are going to go ahead and show you show and tell. And I hopefully will come back tomorrow after show and tell to do a retreat wrap up if I don't forget. <laughs> but um, just want to share with you what the girls have been working on. We are here until tomorrow around. We're trying to leave by 5, so we'll probably sew to like 3.30 or something. But we like to do show and tell on Saturday night, so it's out of the way. So, stay tuned. What's your name again? Oh, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and I made 12 mm. crumb blocks that we swapped within the So So Busy uh, And one of them has memory yeah. fabrics from. Yeah, what, this, this block has fabrics from my mom's new Hawaiian new dresses. Um, I glue the pink. A little bit of green palm trees in there. Any, pretty much all the floral ones. And this is like her house dress, the black ones that you see with the little flowers. Those were her house dress too. So I had 20 of her dresses to make clothes. Wow, nice. That's it. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> all right, Cynthia, you ready? Okay. I'm Cynthia. And as part of the challenge that Jennifer just talked about, I came in second place, and this was what I did. It's um, uh, African princess. Uh, I wanted to do it because my daughter-in-law is from Africa, but I'm not sure um, where it'll go just yet. And I did my zantangos are within. The, the applique that is the headdress, as well as the, the whole body is applique in black. And I kept it in black because I wanted it to remain a silhouette. And this was the um, project. It was the cat project for the retreat this week. And this is my cat. I think his name is Goldie. <laughs> so, it's and cute. I chose to um, the browns and golds just because I thought I, I really liked the way they looked together. And I um, used, uh, I don't even know what kind of stitch this is, but it was more like a, a what do you call it? A, it was like a box stitch. A box stitch? Okay. So that's my, that's it. And I have 12 blocks from blocks that uh, Jennifer talked about and um, they are with the people so I don't have them to show. <laughs> All right, Carol, we'll wake oh, you up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she might need help holding the big yeah, one too. I can help. No, it's, well, I, well, she can do the second one. The first one I think I can do. I put two sets of blocks together to make not to make quilts. Oops. Oh yeah. And here is the first, first one. 
Uh, oh, this nice. is the pattern is called Windy Ways, and sometimes you can see circles when you look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a nice wall hanging. Mm -hmm. Too small to be a baby quilt, I think, it with a lot of ridiculous borders. Mm -hmm. But I had these left from a bigger project. All the teeks. What? All, All the, the teeks. teeks, right. And since we know that now, I know now that Tijuana is taking scraps. Scrap blocks, orphan blocks. Oh wow! Oh, nice. So she's so donating the, her eggs. Sixteen ones, since I didn't want to make a circle. <laughs> oh, they're purple. Very actually. nice. And then these are storm at sea blocks. Um, very nice. With a lot of help beautiful. from the piecing group affiliated with Circle and Square. I put them together with my machine, so I don't think anybody. The blocks were one. hand. The blocks were hand pieced. That blocks were And she put the rows and together. I put the rows together okay. by machine. How many different fabrics do you know? I didn't count. I just kept, if I had a piece that was big enough to make even one piece, I used it as long as it was in the right color way. Very nice. So, and it will grow, I think, to be a bigger quote. You ready, like Deborah? Sure. Deborah's. Deborah, you ready? Go ahead. I'm glad I can get here. Huh? Oh, Becky. I'm Carol. Okay. Come on, Beck. You come. Come yeah. on. You're right. Mm -hmm. I'm not her. I'm not her. I'm not her. I'm not her. Hi, I'm Becky. Uh, I've been working on this weekend some uh, Bonnie Hunter scrappy trip around the world blocks. Okay. <laughs> she said, whatever. <laughs> okay, I worked on the kitty cat. I didn't quite get her on the background yet. Oh, but okay, but that's background. her background. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Do anybody remember the name of the pattern for this? Uh, Princess, Princess kitty. kitty Kitty. By who? Uh, BJ Designs. BJ Designs. Okay. And then, Princess Kitty Kitty. The kitty. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Well, you yeah. probably have the same. No, it almost but makes me I have my embroidery machine. <laughs> <laughs> I do have almost. 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 <laughs> Go get them. Here's the other side. I get these uh, machine embroidery herbal tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Not, and I love that fabric herbal. too. These are all herbs in these tea yeah. Lovely. And you had all these Lovely. fabrics in your stash already? Yeah. The border fabrics, you've had them in your stash already? It's pretty. How many yeah. hours of embroidery do you have there? Um, each block took between four and five hours. And whose herbs are they? I mean, under what name does it? They're called herbal teapots. Oh, she yeah. said, what oh, they are, line, where are they? they are in a uh, machine, uh, embroidery library design. Okay. Both, both of those. Beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love herbs. Mm -hmm. See, I made these and I made this extra teapot block, which didn't yeah. fit in with these. Oh, so, you put see. It so, and that was the first block I made. So you put it in the and this, is my, this was like the one I really liked, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it didn't match with these, mm -hmm. so I had to come up with something else and I found these. these. Mm -hmm. okay. And I had these blocks. I said, okay, that'll work. So, yeah, kind of, that so that I just got a piece of beautiful stuff. You know? mm -hmm. so, so, I'm going to try to get those cool with this weekend. <laughs> and I got the bindings and everything cut, so all that. So I'm doing of course. This is my This is my cat project I'm working on. And I've got it. Wow. I'm quilting it right now, so nice. So this is it. You have a name for your cat yet? No. Okay. Cat yet. Cat yet. They're pretty. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I think it was Jennifer that wanted to see yeah. that. My name is Sarah. <laughs> 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 I did not say the whole name. But anyway, this is the Jim Dale tree. Yeah. This see, is I one of the Jim Dale projects. That was, a, that was a challenge mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And, and just, make it just, just, the, name, the name is called oh. a thing with you. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but anyway, it started off. It started off as a duck or chicken or something. And then I put a hat on number three. Well, I mean, not number. I didn't win a prize. I did not win a prize. This was the number on there. But anyway, this is it. Oh, that's Thing of magic. <laughs> The group, the So So Busy as a group, have been into doing crumb blocks, cr crumb blocks and strip blocks, and we're swapping with each other. And these are the ones from Tijuana, and I dare go through all of them, but there's six here. We've, we've done that for the since January, January through June, and they're all taken care of. This is Deborah's set. There's six of each here, and this is Norma's, and then mine. Uh -oh, I'm missing something already. And Jennifer. Yeah. And then Cynthia. All right. All so you got 36 blocks. I have 36 blocks. Right? Okay. And, oh no, I don't know what, you know what the hell that is. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I said I knew it was dangerous putting stuff on. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> on your, on your thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. I Thank think I need to leave it. It needs to leave it in. It'll give it some humor into this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, this, this is, is cute. cute. This is Aww. our weekend project. And... Basically, the top is done, and of course, the cat is done. And basically, you can see that it's mostly greens, teal greens, and I'm shades of in. tans, and a little pink in there. Beautiful. And the um, there will be another border, and it will be maybe about a three inches of three inches of another border going in. Very nice. I don't have a name. Cat is mostly green. Green-eyed kitty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know. We'll come up with a name. Three <laughs> nine lady. <laughs> okay. Lovely lady. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Norma, and I have started this project. It's like this. So far, I have made 32 of the half square triangles that are red and white scrappy. Mm -hmm. So that's quite an accomplishment. And then I took third place in our Zendangle challenge. This is a lady with flowers in her hair and her dress matches her hair. Dress? Mm -hmm. This I made this as a quilt block. I'm going to put this in a quilt somewhere. So that's that. She does not have a name. <laughs> and then my project for the weekend that I don't have a backing for yet is my kitty. This, this is show up on my t-shirt so you can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's, it's very difficult to see all of the black uh, fabrics, but there are several, several different black fabrics. And my kitty's name is Norton because I'm giving this to my husband. His kitty is a black cat named Norton. Notice his, notice his vest or tie. Yes, notice his. What is Play. the word, Cynthia? Yeah. Cravat. His cravat. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I have. So he's a British. Thank you. Oh, he's a British, he's a British cat. cat. I did not do the retreat project yet. <laughs> I will probably end up doing it at home. But I wanted to do some piecing reduction. So, yes, Sarah. I have started back working on piecing the Jarlene Fitzgerald's graffiti alphabet. So you can Google that if you're interested in this pattern. But I've got now one big chunk here. That one, it doesn't have to stay up. Just so they know. I got another row here. Another two rows here. And then I can't work any further because I left two of the blocks at home. So I got one more row to piece and then add sashing on each side. And then I can get this project finished. Also into piecing reduction, I worked on my crumb blocks. I again ran out of let me show this piece, I think. This is the first three rows, I think. It doesn't matter if it's upside or not. But I did the first three nice. rows. That's very nice. And mm -hmm. as I was here at retreat, I pieced the remaining four rows. But like on the corners here, on the end pieces, they are all black. Mm -hmm. I left the black squares at home. So I can't put the rows together because I need the black to go on the end of the sashings, mm -hmm. which are all of these pieces. <laughs> so again, working on reduction, but not finishing anything. This here is a crazy quilt. Blocks that I did with the AccuQuilt Studio guide, the crazy block guide. And so I pieced the blocks together into this top. I'll probably add some kind of a border and then use the scraps as binding, maybe. Mm -hmm. Give me that one. <laughs> and then my, well, I also am into Sashiko, a new thing I started in April. Second weekend in April, I started this. And then I got hooked. So I started with mm -hmm. this block. Number one. This is my second block. Mm -hmm. And then a third one. I don't think yeah. there's any upside down. Yeah. So I haven't rinsed out the prints, like on the back of this one, you can see all of the instructions, all the white stuff, the excess white printing will wash out. But my biggest project was that I got all of my four charity quilts. I made the binding, got the binding on the quilt, did it all by machine. So I just want to show you that the quilts are getting done. Mm -hmm. I just need to write on the labels. So, okay. mm -hmm. so How just, did you do, wait a minute, I want to see that border. 
inside the outside border. On yeah, all of them are the same. Oh, not a, not on the, the outside, no, on the border. inside. Oh, the border. Inside. Yeah. They're all the same. Oh. So you did a two she and a half a inch strip. I and did, a, and then a three and a half inch strip. Okay. Oh, and I just so piece. So that's like, how you did it. Okay. And they're scrappy too. The black is scrappy, uh -huh. and the three and a half. Three and a half are scrappy, and I just sold them all into long strips mm -hmm. and cut what I needed mm -hmm. for each book. Mm -hmm. So I just want you all to see because. I have four <laughs> that are going to be donated as soon as I can get them there <laughs> because I want them out of my space. <laughs> and then the backing on this one, where I used that backing, somebody sent this in, and so I just used it as a backing mm -hmm. and filled in where I needed more space. So that's two. Some of them got one fabric binding, other ones are scrappy. This is the straight strings. I did two crumbs, one straight string, and then one diagonal string. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the last one, the diagonal strings. Mm -hmm. And I got some people had sent like double diagonals. Mm -hmm. So I put those up at the top of the quilt, and then, so these double diagonals at the top, and then I put oh, all the okay. single diagonals underneath. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. And then wow. I did different quilting on each one, too. So how, many, how many blocks in this quilt? It's 48 blocks in each quilt each top. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is a good Is that a twin size then? This is twin size, it's actually 70 by 90. So. Well, that's it for retreat, guys. We will see you tomorrow with what other activities we do. If anybody work on anything else, I'll just show it to you throughout the day, and we'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> you didn't highlight your teeth. <laughs>
and they have the decals on the machines i'll go around and show you everybody's machine with their decals on them they received this loot bag it's got a bounty bag so it has all of the stuff that we received at retreat um so far we have this charm pack norma gave us this piece of paper fabric she recycled that she purchased from goodwill and then we have lots of other fabrics have a fat corner everybody got from joann's a half yard that came from ace hardware store a batik that came from missouri star Coat company and then we have four fat quarters and a tulip that came from ace hardware store this one came from one of our road trips when we were in Missouri Star. We stopped at some quilt shops. Cynthia gave us this card here. Let me move some of this out. <laughs> About the crossbody bag pattern you can get online to help this organization. So you can make one to donate, maybe make one for yourself. So I'm just leaving the information here. Has some stuff on the back. So if you wanna read this, just go ahead and pause your screen so you can read it. I also gave them a sheet that came from, I picked up at the quilt show in Paducah. It's bond, Hobbs Bonded Fibers. Has all of the different types of batting. And then on the back side which I've got turned sideways, but I'll turn it. It has the purpose for what you might want to use it for. This bag, we got a lot of uh, different patterns. And so they're just put into the bag. So they're like different one, about eight different ones, maybe eight or nine. And then we also I made these t-shirts that you saw us already wearing. I'm not going to open that up. You've already seen us do that when I did, we did show and tell. And this is the last gift here that they haven't seen yet. It's our lunch gift and I'm just going to put the camera on it and you can see what it is for yourself. So that is our actual loot for Quilt Retreat. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, I went around and helped everybody, except for Deborah, who did her own, but I helped everybody put their decal on their sewing machine. So let me show you that. So here is mine. <laughs> Jennifer has hers right there and then she also used her second one already and put it right there <laughs> great idea and then we have Norma who's reading a quilt book she's <laughs> she put hers on her sewing machine right there she has a Benita sport machine very nice machine we come over here you can see Cynthia's is right so there. And then when I got toward the center, I made sure one of my And <laughs> I'm showing them all this stuff we're doing. And then we've got uh, Sarah's is right over there. Let me zoom in so you can see that fancy ass she got. Them. Yes. <laughs> right there. <laughs> And then Becky is the last one. I think her B is fancy too. Right there. Just beautiful lettering. And then they all have an extra one. Except for Jennifer's used hers. And then Deborah has used all of hers as well. Clear up. Here's Carol's. And then we also have... Deborah, she had three machines here and I actually made three for her because I, she was my test and then it, I had one blank space so I just left it there but she has three so she has been quilting her project it's almost done 
So almost done. Good job, Deborah. Thank you. Jennifer is working on quilting, machine quilting a quilt. So this is how you machine quilt big quilts. You see how she's got it pulled around her area so it's not dragging anywhere. Also helps with tension, helps so you don't break your thread as well. Great job. And she's ergonomic with it. <laughs> Sarah has been auditioning border prints. So this is her border for her cat. Oh, okay. And I think Cynthia had her cat on the background last night, but you can see it again. And I think, Becky, did you start a different project? Yeah. Let's go see what Becky got. She's pretty organized. She brings most of her stuff in a basket. It's amazing yeah. how much she fits in here. And she's working on pluses. I, we did this at Scrap Club one year. Very nice. And which magazine is that, just in case? So it's American Patchwork and Quilting. What edition? It's December, December 2012, issue number 119. And I got a whole slew of those but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video thank you all so much for watching I appreciate you taking your time to see what's going on at our retreat and we will most definitely see you next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to show it share this video with your quilty friends I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers and I need your help see you all Bye, everybody.